announcement. It has been brought to our attention that one of the volunteers at Big Country Comics Expo 2022 is associated with a movement that does not align with our values in the comics community. Big Country Comics and Allied Legends incorporated values, inclusivity, diversity, and community. We encourage everyone to celebrate their differences and beliefs. <laughs> Celebrate their differences of beliefs. What the? All oh, people should have strong representation within the art community, except Comicsgate, and feel welcomed and supported, except Comicsgate. This individual's association with a group known to be against our core values came as a shock to our team. To anyone who is bothered by this association, we provide our most sincere apologies. We continue to see this volunteer and comic creator publicly voice his dissatisfaction on social media against one of our top supporters. Not only to the big country comic expo, but also a very respected member to the entire comics community. For this, we ask you to stop. What happened here? Between you and me, can I just confess something? Can I get this off my shoulder? I am really tired of these people. I'm so tired of them. They act exactly how, how they say that we do. They act exactly how we expect they're going to act. And frankly, it'd be wonderful if they surprised me just once, but they don't. So, uh, welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. I'm Ethan Vanskyver, a 29-year veteran of the comic book industry. And over the last 10 years, something very strange has happened bunch of radical left-wing woke activists invaded the hobby and have basically made it inhospitable to anyone else who shares a, a differing opinion. And if you do have a different opinion, if you've noticed how they enforce their, uh, their woke uh, attitudes, their woke ideology on comics and on the hobby, on the industry, on every aspect of comics, if you have a problem with that, if you have a problem with the way that they uh, will unperson you, dehumanize you, exclude you, uh, and cancel you for disagreeing with them, guess what? They will cancel you. They will dehumanize you. They will exclude you. They will blacklist you. Those are their weapons, and it's great. It's just amazing how they do this all the time, and it never changes at all. Um, that seems to be what happened here. Uh, somebody reached out to me and said, look, I'm a volunteer at this one convention and uh, this convention in Canada. And, you know, I, I, my job is to go pick up the guests at the airport, you know, bring them to their hotels. My job is to serve them coffee. My job is to run errands. Basically, I'm a gopher, but I do it because I love comics. I do it because I love this convention and because I want to be a part of comics. I want to be a part of making comics more fun, better. And uh, it turns out that it's this person here, Mad Ruth, Dark Lord Mad Ruth, who is a comic skater. In other words, Dark Lord Mad Ruth holds the perspective, holds the point of view, which to me just makes complete sense. I don't know how you could hold any other view. Uh, that woke uh, activists in comics are poisonous for the comic book industry. They're poisonous because they don't allow other viewpoints. They pretend to. They feign that, you know, they're all about, uh, oh, we need a diversity of opinion and belief. That's a lie. That is an absolute lie. Everything is about ideological purity. And they will, of course, they will expunge. They will blacklist anyone who opposes them in any way. Now, imagine this. Imagine holding those views as an anonymous person on the Internet. You know, it's like, hey, I'm, I'm Comicsgate. I agree with Comicsgate. But I'm afraid that if people, you know, find out that I'm against... Uh, the woke terrorists uh, that are ruining the comic book industry that I too will be persecuted and blacklisted. Imagine holding, you know, trying to protect yourself while, uh, you know, having those views and then they find you out anyway. Uh, this is what happened to this guy right here. Mad Ruth, guy who's volunteering over at this convention. He said, by the way, he has to come out. This is the thing that they make you do. They actually make people feel like they're the ones who need to come forward. Like, we're the ones who need to come forward and say, uh, I'm accepting of all people. I'm not a bigot or a racist. No, no, no. They're bigots. They're racist. They're the ones who need to be making statements like this. 
but they have tactics that dehumanize people and break them down and make them uh, feel like they're guilty. They need to say something about this. They don't. They, this guy deserves an apology. Uh, he says, look, uh, you know, I just finished a two-day Comic-Con and it was awesome until some asshat came up and asked me if I was Mad Ruth. I said, yes. Then they asked if I heard of Watergate. That's weird. Does he mean Comic Gate? Uh, and I asked, from the 60s? They then snickered at me. <laughs> you know what I mean. And walked away. Whatever. Uh, it was this guy right here. That ass hat never snickered, but was generally concerned, genuinely concerned, uh, that you might be getting involved with a group that is rather reprehensible and wanted to check if you knew that. Whatever. Now, this is the kind of concern trolling that SJWs have been doing. They've been doing it ever since I started encountering them. Uh, they will sit there and go, do you realize that you, if you belong to a group that opposes us, that opposes woke, that opposes what we're up to, do you realize, do you realize what's going to happen to you? That's what this is. This is a threat. Rather reprehensible. I don't think there's anything reprehensible at all uh, about saying I oppose woke, about saying I don't think uh, that uh, the comic book industry should be focused on uh, you know, issues of race and gender and whether or not, uh, you know, there has been systemic, you know, racism. And these are all paranoid ideas. Uh, these are all conspiratorial ideas that if you hold them, well, uh, it would be fine if you held those ideas, but those ideas tend to bleed into everything else that you do. If you hold this notion uh, that everything in the world, that all business, all everything is about systemic racism and oppression and things have been broken down into oppressors and the, uh, the oppressed and you're one of the two based on what you look like and what you're... Now, if, if you are woke, that's what woke is. If you are woke, you cannot help but become an activist uh, who is intolerant of others. Uh, and who is going to get in the way and try to wreck other people's lives, accuse them of bigotry, accuse them of racism, accuse them of being oppressors, and then basically try to cancel them, take their job away from them, take their livelihood away from them. In this case, something kind of small, um, getting banned from the convention you worked at, getting shamed by the convention that you volunteer at, the comic book convention, making it so that you, know, you if you hold views that are anti-woke, uh, and by the way, that's a noble thing, in my opinion, to hold views that are anti-woke. I think woke is a despicable philosophy. Uh, it is a philosophy that uh, means that you, a person, cannot escape the circumstances of their own birth, like what your skin color, your gender, your sexual preference, define who you are and how you're going to be treated your whole life. I disagree. And people who disagree with that uh, are numerous, and I think that they're overwhelmingly the majority, and yet we have to be subjugated uh, by this woke minority that will push you uh, around. Uh, they utilize tactics like this. Where do you see this? A group that's rather reprehensible. Comicsgate is a wonderful group of uh, independent comic book fans and creators who just want to create without having to answer to this. Because this exists. Because this exists. Because this guy exists, Comicsgate has to exist. It's as simple as that. Hey, man. If you want to judge me without knowing anything about me, that's on you. Well, he does know everything that he needs to know about you. You are opposed to woke. You're comic skate. You're opposed to his narrative, his mission in life. You're opposed to his cult. Uh, and wokesters are just as strange. And, uh, you know, their philosophy defines who they are. It's, it's no different than Scientology. It's just as bizarre. It's just as urgent to them. Uh, and if you step in their way, you will be destroyed. There was no judgment. Just wanted to know if you knew what you were supporting and promoting. You be you. Now, all right, so if that's the case, if that were actually truthfully the case, then this wouldn't be a problem. If he just said, look, I just want to let you know that, you know, I disagree with uh, what you believe, who you're hanging around with or whatever, than that, but you be you, that would be fine. But that isn't the way this goes. That's never the way this goes, my friends. Um... <clears throat> Ask you, look at this. I support independent creators. I support free artistic expression. I'm kind to people who are decent, honest, and respectful. If you had a question for me, you should have asked it privately and not making a show of it. That would have been a respectful way to ask for starters. Asked you in a very respectful way. In person. It's none of your business. You can't be going up to people like this and uh, approaching them in person and demanding what their belief system is. 
These are the same people that call comic skaters, Republicans, conservatives, they call them Nazis. This is very much like, show me your papers, <laughs> style of behavior. How dare you? How dare you approach me in person and deign to judge me, you little twit? How dare you? How dare you step to me and ask me in a judgmental fashion what I believe? See, uh, what I believe is that you're the type of person that would do that, and that's the problem that I have. How dare you? These people are crazy. Um, said you, uh, sad you have a problem with being asked about your affiliations. I, I have a problem asked about my affiliations by somebody who's looking to blacklist and cancel me and hurt me for my affiliations because my affiliations are in direct opposition to, to people, to a phenomenon, to a culture that will do such a thing. See, it's a circle. No way around this. Um, you were representing, this is the problem, you were representing a comic show I was attending. If the people working the show are part of CG, we want no part of it. So this guy's a retailer. He's basically saying, because you're volunteering at the convention, we're going to pull our business away. We're going to let them know. We're going to threaten to pull our business away. And then we're going to do what we do, uh, which is we're going to make a big scene about it. We're going to protest this show because one guy who gets coffee belongs to uh, a group, uh, belongs to a philosophy, aligns with a philosophy that's opposed to woke, okay, to wokeness. So that's what we're going to do. And that is indeed uh, what happened here. Uh, this gentleman did went, uh, go to the, uh, that convention. And they responded the way uh, they always do, which is to issue an apology, issue a denunciation of their own volunteer. That's absurd. That is crazy. That is bizarre. That is the comic book industry filled with absolute children with absolutely no morals, uh, no ethics, uh, and they behave exactly like uh, what they claim to hate. Um, poor Mad Ruth. Uh, good for you for at least standing up for yourself. Mad Ruth, uh, let me know that this happened. Thank you for that. Gave me a copy of uh, this convention's denunciation of him. This association was not brought to our attention until after our show had finished. We will be implementing further protocols for future events to ensure this does not happen again. If any of our guests, vendors, artists, or customers ever feel unwelcome or have a concern that, wow, hey, Mad Ruth, do you feel unwelcome? Do you have a concern that should be brought to this convention's attention that you are being persecuted for your beliefs? How strange. Up here, Again, it says, um, we encourage everyone to celebrate their differences and beliefs. How come your belief that radical left-wing activists are ruining comic books and making comic books inhospitable to conservatives and Christians, how come that is not being celebrated? Well, I'm celebrating it. I'm throwing a fistful of confetti in the air, Mad Ruth. Good for you. Celebrate Mad Ruth. What an outrage this is. And this is blacklisting. This is what this is. This is effectively blacklisting. Uh, this fellow is not allowed to have differing views. This fellow has run amok, afoul of the ide ideological purity of the radical left. And therefore, for some reason, he's not allowed to bring coffee to comic book artists. It is, that's the state of things, my friends. That is the way things are going. I, I don't know what to say. And here we have an SJW celebrating. No one cares about another CG idiot facing consequences. Well, I mean, our customers do, and new customers too. If you hear this and you, I mean, this sounds weird to you. If you hear this and you recognize the injustice of the situation, if you hear about this and you say, this isn't the world that I want to live in, how can I help? How can I help put a stop to it? All I can say is this. Thanks, by the way. Thanks for letting, thanks for creating this contrast between your industry, your hobby, what you've done to everybody's hobby, and Comicsgate. We're creating comic books of our own. Uh, and uh, more and more people are coming over. People are joining us because of situations like this. Christmas is coming. Daddy needs to sell some more posters. That's right. Cyberfrog Blacklight posters. The link's in the description. Rec Planet, Cyberfrog 2, Rec Planet, the comic book, Chromium Editions. Um, going out pretty soon, a couple of weeks. Um, it's still, you're, you're still able to back them if you want to. Links are in the description below. Uh, thank you to 
everyone. Thank you for watching this. Please do like, please subscribe, please share this video, and let's push back in a real and genuine way over this absolute nonsense. Thanks, everyone. Bye. <laughs> a new from all caps comics, Cyberfrog Blacklight Posters. Three new velvet flocked Cyberfrog posters with vibrant fluorescent ink. Back them today, only on Indiegogo.